at some point, I really want to make some full scripted video about this, but it is just bugging me too much right now, and I don't know why. Um, I've always loved vegetables. I don't know why, and maybe I didn't at some point, but I've always, as far as I can remember, loved vegetables. And there were some that I wasn't a big fan of, and I still won't eat, you know, um, Brussels sprouts. Didn't like them. But if I don't understand how people can't love onions and carrots, and I'm actually allergic to broccoli, but I still like it. But if, oh my goodness, you'll see why this is just bugging me so much. So, um, I actually do have half siblings via the guy who donated half of my DNA. And, oh my goodness, it is so sickening. So, the girl, they got two boys and one girl. The girl, she was 16 years old. I talked like for the month that I actually spoke with them, I talked them into taking me to this really nice little international market thing. And um, that girl got fried rice and she turned up her nose and she was trying to pick out the vegetables like they did her wrong. Like she really didn't want to eat the vegetables. And it's like, where the heck do you go wrong where there's a 16-year-old girl trying to pick out the vegetables? Why? How does that even work? And then you realize, oh, that's why their youngest. He subsists, subsisted only on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I think. And it was so bad that they literally had to cut them in this cut them with cookie cutters just so we'd eat them and he'd just randomly grow out of certain shapes like they told the story like it was so adorable but no it was disturbing they had finally found a cookie cutter shape that he was okay with eating his sandwiches and then all of a sudden he starts crying and saying oh no I'm not okay with eating that shape anymore because it was a baby shaped cookie cutter and he didn't want to eat babies. Yeah. Oh, but seriously, 16 years old and just picking out the vegetables? How is that even possible? How can you mess up that bad? Oh, and oh my goodness, that girl was so messed up and her mom was messed up and oh my goodness. Like, another video I want to make is about their white savior complex and how they kind of forced a college-educated woman to be their mammy. And I'm, that kid is like three years younger than me, and I'm 22. I'm not talking about the 60s. And that girl, 16-year-old girl, holding a grudge from when we she was eight years old because... Oh, man. It is so pathetic. <sighs> Dang. Like, ah, I can't even believe that this is real stuff that has parts of my genetic material involved via that guy who donated my genetic material. Oh, how is this possible? Just like a 16-year-old who refuses to eat vegetables... And it's holding a grudge from when she was eight years old because a woman would rather elope in Hawaii than go to her eighth birthday party. Not even kidding. I had to listen to this story for like 20 minutes because they were putting all of the effort into making it seem so interesting and vilifying the lady. Yeah, she was black. She was black, and they went on and on about how they're not racist or whatever. But I was just, you know, we were in Atlanta, and I was like, oh, it's so crazy. Because, you know, it's Atlanta. 
Like, there's a ton of black people who are richer than I could ever hope to be. That's so crazy. And I was just talking about how this guy was just really sweet. And it had nothing to do with race, just that he was a really nice guy. And they just say, oh, you don't have to like someone just because they're black. And it's like, what? What? What do you, do? what? And they go into this story. There, I don't know why a college educated woman, they somehow made her live in their attic. And um, it's not really exaggerating to say that attic was had no air conditioning it was cramped it smelled bad I don't know why but they put her to work as a mammy not even kidding like she had to play tea parties with the little kid and she had to take care of the little kid and when I say little I mean eight years old not even kidding so they had to so they were making this college educated woman be a mammy like seriously what the heck it's so in my in my head that lady was just like okay this is racist and scoot elude like asap to go elope in hawaii get as far away as possible and that 16 year old girl and her mother were f just so so mad be and holding a grudge eight years later, literally half of that girl's life later, because the lady didn't want to go to an eight-year-old's birthday party. Like, I don't want to go to an eight-year-old's birthday party. Who wants to go to an eight-year-old's birthday party? Uh, so it's just like, what the heck? Uh, like, that, oh man, oh man, yeah, I'll totally make a full video about all this, but gosh darn it.